In this video, we are going to show you some basic troubleshooting steps with the Grace Digital Radio. Now I say basic because there are some more advanced steps that we are not going to show you in the video. But if any of the steps in this video do not fix your issue, please call your SiriusXM reseller immediately for further troubleshooting. Now, I'm not going to be able to recreate the error messages, but I'm going to do my best to explain them to you. Now, on this screen, you can see, right now it shows you the name of the station, the name of the song, the name of the artist playing. Right now, I have music playing. Now, if at any time you see an error message, you can see something that says, station unavailable, it'll say error loading menu, it'll say end of stream, it may even say, uh, something about not having an internet connection or anything like that. The first step that I would take with any error message displaying on the screen is called a power cycle. Now sometimes these devices when they play nonstop, they can basically get a little worn out. So if, what a power cycle does is it restarts it and it helps clear out some of that temporary memory. So what you do is hold in the power button until the radio turns off and keep holding it because you want it to turn back on. There you go. Once you see the Grace Digital Radio, you can let it go and let it boot up as normal. And you want to be a little patient because it does go through a boot up process in which it initializes the network, it updates its settings, it checks for any firmware updates, and eventually you will get back to the point of having music. Now, we have music playing, which shows me that whatever issue we had was just resolved with a power cycle. If you did that and you still have an error message on your screen, you're going to want to take some further steps. Now, some of the issues may be timeout getting IP and not connected to internet. What these error messages mean is obviously something with the network connection. So the first thing I would do is make sure that the ethernet cable is still attached to the back of the radio, like this. The next step you wanna look is there's a green light that flashes and a solid yellow light. Both of these must be on because they represent the network connection itself. If they are both working, the next step that I would do is unplug the ethernet cable, power cycle the device, plug the ethernet cable back in. If that still does not work, then you wanna contact your IT or network engineer to find out if there's anything wrong with the internet network connection itself. If that still doesn't work, of course, contact your Sirius XM reseller. They can get you a list of the port requirements in case a static IP address is needed for this device. Or, of course, they can further troubleshoot with you. The next issue we are going to talk about is scanning. If your radio just says scanning on it, it is trying to connect to a Wi-Fi or wireless network connection. If you're not trying to connect to wireless and instead are using an Ethernet cable connection, you are going to go right to settings, network configuration, wired slash wireless, and then you're going to select wired. And then at that point, it should connect to the network and you should have music playing. Again, if you cannot hear the speakers in your store from where you are, this speaker button can show you that music is playing. Now, if you are trying to use a wireless connection and it's showing scanning, what's happening is the device is not able to find any available networks. You could try a power cycle, like we showed you as step one, in which you hold in the power button until it turns off and turns back on. Otherwise, it could be an issue with stability. In that case, I would contact your IT or network engineer for further troubleshooting or, of course, your SiriusXM representative. 